hello everyone welcome to my channel and if you guys are new welcome so today I'm gonna do this nail set about breast cancer awareness so you know if October is breast cancer awareness month so I just wanted to supporting all the women out there that are dealing with this hard time and I know that this breast cancer it's really really common in women so please you guys um, make sure you check up yourself go to the doctor every year just to make sure everything okay okay so I'm really excited about this nail set because it's really meaningful and it's really special to me so let's get started okay so today I'm gonna use McCart poly gel life of a rose uh, poly gel kit and I really love this nail um, poly gel kit the roses that's when I get inspiration for the nail set today I know that this nail set the box and the packaging is red but the color that came in the kit they do have really really beautiful pink color so the first thing you can see that's the thank you card and the instruction menu uh, they're showing you step by step how you do it if you are a beginner and right here is showing you how to do it with the dual form and of course they come with the dual form and they come with two kinds the straight one and the curled one but today I'm not going to use that dual form and it's also come with some base coat and top coat and 100 180 file red and the nail brush and they come with four, four color and they came seal and they are I believe is 15 ml so right now I'm gonna swatch the color so you guys can see how they are look like the first color is a nude pink and the second color is like a dark pink and the third color which is the color I'm going to use today with the first color the new absolutely beautiful bright pink and the last color is red I love all the color that came with this kit they are absolutely beautiful I gotta say this is one of my favorite poly gel kit I ever used from McCart and also the pink kit but because the pink kit I have it but um, I already opened it so I don't have the unboxing to show you guys and this set is absolutely beautiful too so you can see I'm using the nail from Inel Couture in the coffin shape full cover nail tip and this Savvy Land gel um, art design they came with the set of brush and instruction menu they all came with 12 color if you guys already seen my nail haul last time, I did show this gel art, uh, but I'm going to show you guys again real fast so you can see how the color looked like on the whole kit. I actually really like it because it comes with all the color we need for nail art. And if you are a beginner or even you know you've been doing nail for a long time, they do all come with all the color that you need. And the consistency is pretty nice to do the nail art. As you can see, they are all bright, like really bright and vibrant. And I love it. So I just need this basic color and then either mix it with some white or some black. And it would definitely make the different tone of the gel color. And the price is really affordable, which is really like the product from Savvy Lamb because their price is actually really good. And they have so many different variety and different product in their brand. I actually really like it. And you can see the red, two more. And so today I'm going to use, uh, I think, four or five color out of the, all 12 of them to make the roses and today I'm gonna hand drawing the roses yeah I use five color so the way I'm doing the nail today it's a little bit different than usually I do because I'm gonna do the nail on my non-dominant hand 
and I do want it to have um, the nail design hand drawing but I can draw with my left hand so what I did I just applying some matte top coat on the nail that I'm gonna do the design and I'm gonna draw the design on top of it first I kind of do a backward because today I'm gonna do the lazy girl method aka Femi beauty method so everything I would do a kind of backward so the first thing I do the design first and here is the the nail that I practice on before I'm starting to do the roses because I haven't doing this nail art um, drawing for a little while and I'm also going to use this nail brush from Inyo Couture and I really really love this nail brush because the nail um, the tip of the brush is really really thin so they can actually you know give you if you wanted to draw like a really detailed thin line as you can see right here I'm mixing the color I'm mixing that um, apricot color with some white and some of that bright pink to make like a baby pink at a base for the roses so I'm gonna draw down the base first of the flower so the last time I actually did try this way before with some V tip on the bridal nail on my nun dominant hand and I actually really love how they are turned out but I trying to keep the nail design more on the tip area and the side so make sure when I apply the poly gel underneath the nail the nail can able to cure through the cuticle area so when you do it this way how I did it a couple times I learned it that after you cure the nail on the top you also gonna have to flip your nail upside down to make sure that the poly gel they cure through all the way because the design they might not cover a little part of on top of the nail where the area of the poly gel might not gonna be cured right so make sure you um, turn your hand upside down as you can see right here I just do the base for the rose and also do the little uh, petal for the little roses and I clean my brush between each time I drawing the nail especially that first one with just some alcohol wipe so now I'm gonna come in with some bright uh, pink to do the detail for the roses and I was just drawing the line between and the baby pink right there I did flash cure them for 30 seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing uh, for the rest of the nail. I haven't do this nail design, nail art, hand drawing for a little while because I kind of get lazy. You know how lately they come out so many beautiful sticker, so many beautiful transfer foils. So I kind of get lazy. I'm just using those instead. But there. I have to admit there is something about hand drawing nail art make it so fun and so meaningful especially with this nail set to me it's really special and you know because it's for breast cancer awareness month and to supporting all the women out there that please um, you know stay strong you are not alone we are all here with you and supporting you guys and it's really meaningful to me so that's why I have to do something more special for this nail set so after I outline all that uh, roses without gearing I'm applying some white gel uh, polish I mean the the nail art drawing right there I didn't cure that hot pink I'm applying the white between the hot pink just to make the highlight and then right now after I'm done this step I'm gonna use some base gel to kind of blend them together to make the roses look more natural because if you can um, see the rose the real roses they are usually the color is blend together like an ombre effect so that's what I'm going for today so I'm gonna repeat the same thing to all the rows And without curing those two colors, I'm going to go in with this base coat and blend them together. 
and let me talk about this nail brush i really really love it because i've been purchased so many nail art brush out there mostly from amazon and they do fine you know it's not like they are not good or anything but somehow i always end up coming back to the long brush that come with the gel bottle um i just stuck with that kind of brush for 10 years and i do nail to do nail art i couldn't find any nail brush that i can do different kind of nail art design until i started to use this one and i gonna say it and make a huge difference so I really really love this nail brush they come in a set of four and I really recommend it if you are interested in some nail art I will really recommend you should get this one but I'm pretty sure out there there's more nice brush but I haven't purchased any of those brands but yeah this one from Innovator really good I will link it down below if you guys are interesting so right here you can see I'm drawing some of the rose leaf and i was trying to make them a little bit more in the natural so i would do with the bright green first and then i cured it flash cure it, and then i mix some black color with that same green to make a darker tone of the leaf and then i um, outline the leaf to make it look a little bit more realistic and then I also draw a little vein inside the leaf. I know they are small. So to have a really small brush like this is actually really, really helpful. It makes it so much easier to draw a really small detail. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this nail art. And I'll be right back when the nail set started. Okay, so after I'm done all the design, I'm going to coat with some matte top coat. Something about matte top coat make it more realistic. And I also do it off camera on my ring finger, the same roses. So right now, I'm going to do the ribbon for the breast cancer awareness. And I'm going to use that um, bright pink to draw the ribbon. And there's one more thing I want to share with you guys if you haven't known it yet. If you are a beginner, if you wanted to do some hand painting nail art, I recommend to apply some matte top coat or non-white top coat. And somehow they make it so much easier for you to draw whatever you want. Because usually if you just draw on top of the nail polish, the gel tends to bleed and the, the drawing is not going to look that sharp like and doesn't look that nice so that's a little tip right there for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and draw them and um, and there's one more thing is that the way I do this method today uh, try to draw not close to the cuticle area and here I'm also using this sprinkle on glitter from Kara Sky and I love this glitter so so much is so beautiful so i just wrinkled it on top of the gel and cure and cure the nail and brush off the excess and this is how it turned out so far so i'm also going to use this glitter today um, to make it like a glitter ombre with the poly gel so now the nail i will turn it around and do it like you sure for the nail today i skipped the nail prep because I don't want the video too long 
the nail prep is gonna be the same as usual. So first thing, I'm just gonna apply this glitter on the tip area, try to make it like an ombre effect. So after I'm done this, I'm gonna flash cure the glitter, make sure they are stay in place because I applied the base coat. And then I'm gonna come in with that bright pink poly gel that came with the kit and I'm patting it down on the whole nail and I really really love this pink poly gel they're absolutely beautiful and somehow in the camera it doesn't look as bright as in person especially out in the sun so I hopefully when I show you guys when it's outside you can see the color actually brighter and so let's come back to the reason why I when I do the nail design first I try to avoid it's too close to the cuticle area because as you can see when we do this method we still need to come back and file around the cuticle area to kind of smooth them out so if you are doing the design around close to where the cuticle area when we file the nail they might file off the nail design so that's why i usually try to keep the design more down on the tip area so when i file the nail just around the cuticle area to make it more natural and this next finger i repeat the same thing um with the nail before that I just want to show you guys again, but I speed it up a little bit. As you can see, um, you know, it's pretty easy. You know, it's not hard if you are already kind of used to it with this method. So that is the middle finger. Okay, so now I'm going to use this new color for the rest of the nail which is the nail with the design because with the new base um, they kind of pop the design out more to make the design a little bit more stand out than in the clear we did earlier so I've just go ahead and pat them down the whole nail the poly gel today is I'll try to keep it really simple you know nothing ombre crazy just like that and I place it on the nail and I'm repeating the same thing to the rest of the nail with the new, the same new color. And I really, really love this new color. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I gotta say, it's my favorite so far on one of the lists that I use. Like with all the poly gel that I own, I actually really, really love this new color. And this nail set so far is one of my favorite nail set I have ever done. Especially I've done it with none dumb in the hand. But I kind of cheating a little bit, you know. I kind of draw it with my right hand with the design. But it's okay. I still really like it. And so after I'm curing all my nail and I'm applying the top coat underneath the nail. And I flip my hand upside down making sure everything cured right through because remember we have the design on the top so we flip it over so everything can cure correctly so after that I'm just filing the nail a little bit uh, more on the tip area a little bit on the side so because the way I have the nail with the design like that I don't tend to file much but that's why I love this method because the nail already came with a really nice shape so we don't have to shape so much and I just coming back with some um, cuticle drill bit the small one this one from Ina Couture just go around the cuticle area a little bit and now you guys can see what I'm talking about earlier I try to stay away from the cuticle area because I don't want it to file off the nail design at the thumb I kind of go too close but it's okay I can still kind of try to avoid to file where the design at but yeah, so I'm just going to go around the cuticle area only. And even when I buffer the nail, I'm just going to buff around the cuticle area only. I'm not uh, buffer on the whole nail. 
so with this nail which is you know usually how I do regular I'll file like normally I can file on the whole nail buffer the whole nail that's fine just the one with the design I not buffer on top so you see I just try to be really gentle just to blend it in make it nice and smooth and I know with the way I do like this the cuticle area is not really that nice and fleshing so I'm coming with the way that I wanted to do is to apply the rhinestone around the cuticle area just to cover that up and that's usually what I do when I do either a lazy girl method or the dual form I usually like to apply cuticle rhinestone just to cover the cuticle area so that's what I'm gonna do today so after file and buff I just wipe them off with some alcohol wipe and today I'm gonna go in with this pink neon rhinestone and I love it and of course some AB rhinestone and today I'm using this McCart rhinestone gel blue and applying them on where I'm gonna place the rhinestone so today the rhinestone I'm gonna keep it really simple most of them gonna be around the cuticle area but I'm gonna do them uh, like in the pattern of one AB rhinestone, one bright pink, hot pink. And I really like that hot pink rhinestone because it kind of matching with the color of the roses. So they kind of bring the whole nail set together. And the rhinestone, only the one in the middle finger, I'm just placing one big one um, just to make it a little bit more fancy, you know, a little bit more bling bling. And yeah, I just, this special nail set is really, really turned out the way that I imagined it would be. And I'm really happy the way they are turned out. So after I'm um, curing the nail, I'm coming back and apply some matte top coat on the whole nail. Just making sure they won't show through where the, the glue gel rhinestone kind of showing some shiny. And we don't want that because the nail is going to be matte. But when you applying the matte top coat, also be careful. Do not let it touch any rhinestone because the matte top coat is going to make the rhinestone go matte. And we don't want that either. So with this nail, a little bit more tricky because when I apply the matte top coat, I have to go around the nail design that I drawing because I don't want it to touch that glitter because I really love how that glitter look um, like that. So I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the nail design. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'm really appreciate it for your support. For the past year, I've been here on YouTube and share with you guys um, about the nail. And I hope you guys like it and I hope you can have a great day. And all the women out there that are dealing with this cancer, please stay strong. You know, I will keep you all of you guys in my prayer. God will keep us the strength to keep going and fight this monster. And soon, you know, in the new world, God going to give us the better world with no more sickness, no more cancer. And I'm really excited, looking forward for that to come. So here the last step, I'm just applying some cuticle oil and the nails are done. And thank you again guys for being here. And please subscribe to my channel so I won't miss you in my next video. And again, I hope you can have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!